Tampa, Florida. Tampa is one of the prominent cities in Florida, located on the west coast of the state of Tampa Bay, near the Gulf of Mexico. It is Florida's third most populous city. Tampa's highlights include theme parks, museums, aquariums, and, of course, the world-famous Busch Gardens. The port of Tampa Bay is the largest in the state and is responsible for over $15 billion in economic impact. In today's video, we'll go over the reasons why people visit Tampa as well as where to stay while you're there. If you're considering a trip to Tampa, this video will tell you about some of the city's famous attractions as well as some hidden gems to discover to make your trip memorable. So make sure you watch till the end of the video. Tampa is part of the metropolitan area most commonly referred to as the Tampa Bay Area. Tampa is the largest city in the Tampa Bay area and the seat of Hillsborough County. The best thing about Tampa is that it is jam-packed with activities for every age group. It generally has pleasant weather and can make a perfect family vacation destination. The city of Tampa covers an area of 175.3 square miles in total. 113.4 square miles of which is land and 61.8 square miles, about 35.5%, is water, according to the United States Census Bureau. The city's highest elevation is only 48 feet, about 15 meters above sea level. Tampa is surrounded by two bodies of water, Old Tampa Bay and Hillsborough Bay, which combine together to form Tampa Bay, which flows into the Gulf of Mexico. According to the 2020 census, Tampa has a population of 384,959. It is the third most populous city in Florida, following Jacksonville and Miami, and the 52nd most populous city of the United States. Tourism, finance, technology, construction, healthcare, and the maritime industry drive Tampa's economy. The Bay alone contributes significantly to Tampa's economy. The Bay's port is the largest in the state, accounting for over $15 billion in financial impact. So why is the best time to visit Tampa? The Tampa Bay area has a humid subtropical climate, but due to its neighboring locations, it exhibits some tropical traits. Summers in Tampa are hot and humid with occasional thunderstorms, and winters are dry and pleasant. If you're on a tight budget, the best months to visit Tampa are September to December. You'll discover the finest deals during these months. From May to August, Tampa is usually packed with visitors. Last year, Tampa welcomed over 24.5 million tourists. Tampa is a place full of adventurous things, packed with exciting things to do. Now, let's talk about the top attractions in Tampa. Busch Gardens is Tampa's most well-known attraction. It is a 136-hectare African-themed park. SeaWorld Parks and Entertainment owns and operates the park. It's like the hub of the city, with restaurants, roller coasters, shopping, games, and much more. It is overflowing with recreational options. It's also less expensive and has themed sites like the Edge of Africa, as well as animal exhibits modeled on the Serengeti Plain and the Mayombe Reserve. It houses almost 12,000 animals. Busch Gardens is a must-see for thrill-seekers and animal lovers alike. It attracts around 4.1 million people each year. The Florida Aquarium is one of the country's top aquariums for a reason. It is located on the southeastern edge of downtown Tampa. Florida Aquarium has a massive collection of marine life. It has more than 14,000 animals. At this aquarium, you can get a chance to see river otters, alligators, sea turtles, stingrays, wondrous seahorses, unusual batfish, reef fish, eels, sharks, alligators, lemurs, penguins, and more throughout the aquarium. Tour of this aquarium will be the highlight of your kids' visit to Tampa. The memory of these fascinating species will stay with them forever. Another popular attraction in Tampa is the Ybor City Museum Skate Park. The name Ybor has a story behind it. It's named after Vincent Martinez Ybor, a Spanish cigar maker who established Ybor City in 1885. The museum is housed in a building that was once a bakery. Falita Bakery, originally La Joven Francesca, 
and his ovens are now part of the museum's exhibitions depicting the history of the cigar business and the Latin culture from the 1880s to the 1930s. When you first enter the museum, you will be shown a brief history video of the city and then you can walk around the building and look at the displays. You can also purchase items from the plaza located near the museum. The Sunshine Skyway Bridge, commonly known as the Sunshine Skyway Bridge, was designed by Figge Muller Engineering Group and constructed by the American Bridge Company. This architectural art piece is regarded as the state symbol of Florida. It is a cable stayed bridge that connects St. Petersburg, Florida, to Terracia, Florida. Driving through the bridge provides a spectacular panorama. However, trying to drive through this 4.14 mile bridge during the day, as some people say it appears scary at night, with the deep silent ocean and the seemingly endless distance adding to the dread. Nonetheless, it is worthwhile to pay a visit. Any visit to a new place would be incomplete without visiting its museum. A museum allows you to have a peek at the region's art and culture. That is why you should stop by the Tampa Museum of Art, located in downtown Tampa. This museum exhibits modern and contemporary art as well as Greek, Roman and Etruscan antiquities. If you love water sport, make sure to stop by Adventure Island. Its name depicts it right. It is a water park located in the northwest of Tampa and covers an area of 30 acres. It features water rides like Aruba Tuba, Calypso Coaster, Caribbean Corkscrew, Colossal Curl, The Rapids Racer, Riptide Rush, Solar Vortex, Vanish Point, and two pools. It also has so many dining options and attractions in the area. You can wind up your visit to the city by visiting the Tampa Riverwalk. It looks the best during the sunrise and the sunset, the way the sun scatters its beautiful colors into the water. And the pattern that the river reflects is a sight you don't get to see every day. Tampa Riverwalk covers an area of 2.4 miles where you can walk or even bike. And if you love exciting things, you should definitely try the helicopter tour that Tampa Aviation Bay provides. You can see the gorgeous city of Tampa with a bird's eye view. This experience for sure would be magical. Now let's talk about where you can stay on your visit to Tampa. Let's take a look at our top three recommendations. The first one on our list is a house that is more like a mansion. This grand mansion is located on the river. It is big enough to accommodate up to 15 people, which makes it a perfect choice if you're traveling with your family or friends. It has six bedrooms and five and a half bathrooms. This luxurious house features a fully equipped kitchen, private outdoor pool, free parking space, inclusive hot tub, security cameras, and internet access. Plus, the view from this mansion is absolutely gorgeous. Our next suggestion is a resort-style property that will make your vacation even more memorable. This lovely villa has six spacious bedrooms with a total of 10 beds and three full bathrooms. This lovely property is also great for hosting gatherings. Unlike other rentals, this resort allows you to bring your pets with you. Doesn't that make it a dream place? This location also has a kitchen, a washer dryer, a pool, a hot tub, internet access and parking. Tampa is packed with sumptuous places to stay and this villa is one of them. This 40,000 plus square foot property is well worth the money. It has four bedrooms and four bathrooms. This luxurious property includes a private yard where you can dine or read a book, a dock, a hot tub to relax your aching muscles, a solar heated pool, a jacuzzi and much more. Furthermore, it is within a short distance from the major Tampa hub. It features a parking spot large enough for four cars. This private luxury property has a kitchen and the best internet available. To sum up, Tampa has a lot of worthwhile attractions that offer super fun recreational activities for every age group. It is a family-friendly location and isn't super expensive. So stop thinking and land in Tampa this summer. Have you ever been to Tampa? If not, then was this video convincing enough to make you visit there? Let us know in the comment section down below. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed our video and want to see more like this, Make sure to check out similar videos on our channel.